Hi guys, so today I'll be working on the front porch. I'm gonna fix it up for fall. And I always feel like fall is such a short season. It's a fun season to decorate for, but it doesn't last long, so I'll probably not do a whole lot. Uh, just some fall touches here and there. And I'll show you the before here. You know how it kind of starts looking here in September, or my pots do that. Like the, the flowers aren't as nice anymore, and it definitely needs a refresh. And I'll probably explain as I go kind of what I'm doing. One of the first things I'm sure you're going to notice here is the porch does need a good cleaning. Haven't gotten around to doing that in a while. And here in the woods, you know, we get all kinds of bugs and spiders, like spider webs, and then of course the leaves. Probably wash the pillow covers and store them for maybe next year. And I thought some of my house plants I may move inside already. I realized they'd still be okay for a few weeks out here, but uh, since I'll move them inside before too long. Anyway, I may thin them out a bit here on the porch. I'm always kind of sad when it's this time of the year because I love summer and all the greens out here. Um, this is probably one of my favorite places to sit out here on the porch swing. But I'm sure I'll still get some pretty fall days where I can do that. And like I mentioned, the planters aren't as pretty anymore probably because I'm not taking care of them like I should. I don't know why I'm always that way. You know, this time of year rolls around and I don't, uh, you know, feed them as much. I try to water them, but I don't, you know, bother with the miracle Grow and uh, some of the other things that make them pretty. And my water feature here, of course, needs cleaned. And it's actually not really running through uh, like it should right now. Probably plugged somewhat. And my wooden window box, I'm actually really excited to fix that up for fall. Uh, may end up adding some mums and pumpkins. I want to try to make a wooden planter of sorts. And I think it would look good displayed to the left of the front door as you enter our porch. And it's something where I'd want to make like a seasonal statement with. Uh, maybe right now I'd put some mums in it. Uh, during the winter, maybe a spruce tree. Maybe even add a decal to the side, you know, on the side of the planter. Uh, that goes with the season we're in. It'll be really simple and probably a bit rustic. I'm just taking an old planter that I'm not using anyway. Uh, this one is one that I had painted previously and the paint is peeling off, so I thought I'd just cover it with old boards. And again, these boards are kind of rustic. Uh, they even vary in thickness and in width, so it definitely won't be perfect. But I think once I have them you know, together and put a coat of polycrylic on them, it'll look okay. I spent an hour or so yesterday making this planter, and now this morning I want to give it that coat of polycrylic and try to finish the porch.
I have other plans for the door. That's why I'm removing the house number that's on there. But if you are interested in a custom house number, we do have this available on the Etsy shop. So this black and white striped cart was on the back uh, patio this summer and I think it's time to move it in because I do need it to hold some of my plants back in my little plant corner uh, in the living room. It's always kind of sad for me to see my house plants go off the porch. Uh, again, I just love the greenery out here but might as well do it today since uh, soon I'll have to do it anyway with colder temperatures coming up. I was to a few local markets, which there's plenty in our area right now with beautiful fall things. And one of them was Blessing Acres Produce. I've talked about them before, and they have a complete new building up this year. Um, they have lots more, you know, varieties of different things. Um, I stopped there, and then also, if you're local here, there's a place across the road from Bauman Harness Shop, which is on County Road 77 and I found they have the best prices for pumpkins that I saw. Now I'm sure there's other places around here with maybe even better prices, but um, just a neat little market, uh, beautiful old wagons filled with colorful pumpkins. I also visited a greenhouse the same day that I stopped in at a few of these markets. I bought some plants for my wooden box here. Uh, one of them is a grass that I thought was so pretty. Um, it has kind of a reddish tint over the top and the plumes are just ready to bloom. I thought it would look really fallish. Not sure of the name of it. I couldn't find a tag for it. Uh, the red plant is a Eucarella, um, also such a beautiful fall color. And then I have some white mums that I'm going to plant in here. Here I'm just sticking some of my own Autumn Joy sedum that I got out of my gardens into the soil. Um, sedum is a plant that you can do that to, like it'll stay pretty fresh looking for a while in here. I knew I wanted a blue-green fabric for a few of the pillow covers for the porch swing. So I went to Zinc's Fabric Outlet. I've talked about them before on here. Um, they have all kinds of different fabrics for good prices, but often they just have a certain amount. So that's what happened here. I took everything they had of this kind, so they're not going to have any left. But I plan to turn the rest of it into pillow covers and have it available on the Etsy shop in case you're looking for something like this. I will be able to make some of them, but not a large amount. I thought this was the prettiest blue-green color. It was exactly what I had in mind. And they do sell some of their fabric online. I'll put their link down below in the description box in case you want to check them out. The nice thing about a cotton fabric like this is you can actually tear it instead of cut it. Uh, saves a lot of time. And the other tip that I'd have for you, if you are sewing a pillow cover for an 18-inch insert, um, I always cut my fabric exactly 18 inches. Uh, that way it's going to be actually a little bit smaller than 18-inch square. And that will make your pillow, you know, more puffy. I always just do a simple envelope closure in the back for my pillows. Um, you just overlap the two pieces that are, you know, the back pieces of the cover. The pillow covers that will be made for the Etsy shop will be surged along the raw edges 
but just for myself, I'm not going to bother to do that. First I potted some white mums that I thought looked a little bit too small in this container. By the time I had set it in my wooden planter, it seemed a little bit lost. So I ended up getting some of these beautiful rust colored mums. They're just a, a tad bigger and I think they look better proportioned for the container. I wanted some sort of a fall sign hanging above the wooden planter and I came up with this old wooden tray that I got years ago at a thrift store. I just haven't gotten around to you know repurposing it. Um, didn't get a video of it but I removed the wooden handles that were on both sides and now I'm just taping it off and going to paint the back part. I know you kind of see these words everywhere, but I thought Hello Fall would be really fitting for the front porch. And this decal or stencil is available on the Etsy shop in case you're looking for something like this. Here I'm just using my own Coral Bell Start out of my garden along with a few varieties of sedum for this little planter. Going back to the porch swing, I kind of wanted a statement pillow of sorts for my centerpiece something to replace the vintage hair pillow that I had during the summer months. So I came up with this wild turkey image and here I'm using transfer paper that I got off of Amazon. I've used it previously and gotta say it's not the best kind that's out there. I always have a hard time getting it pressed onto fabric. It's all I have on hand at the moment so I'm gonna give it a try. I also didn't have a blank off-white pillow cover on hand and I felt that's what is gonna look best with this turkey image. So I just swiped the one from downstairs on the recliner. The other side actually has another design. I had gotten it off of Amazon several years ago, but it is that perfect color. So I'm gonna use the other side of it and iron on this turkey. Definitely not the most ideal thing here, guys, but I'm gonna give it a shot, see how it looks. At least I can tell then if I do really want a wild turkey on my porch swing or not. Here I'm using my Cricut heat press. Absolutely love it. Every time I use it, I wonder why I don't use it more often, but I guess right now with, you know, summertime, I'm just not doing those sorts of projects, but come winter, I'm sure I'll use it more. It almost seems like magic, especially with years of just using my regular iron to do these sorts of things. I have a Cricut link in my description box if you ever end up ordering anything through there. It won't change the price for you, but I do get a small commission. But yeah, this heat press is definitely something you might want to check out if you're into this sort of thing.
The checkered pillow covers are from Ikea from several years ago. The inserts are just pillows that I had around here that weren't being used. Some of them are even old outdoor ones. I decided to quickly clean the windows on the outside to freshen them up and I'm using my Norwex cloths. I often talk about them but absolutely love them for windows. I'll put the Norwex link down below in the description box. Uh, it is the Enviro cloth and then the polishing. Together they just work like magic to clean windows with if you ask me. The apple harvest candle is so fitting for the fall season. Right now the whole porch smells exactly like fresh apples. So good. I made this corn husk wreath several years ago and I'll put that tutorial video link down below in the description box. I'm always impressed how this wreath keeps holding its shape and color year after year. I totally messed up when I ironed the words wild turkey in Latin onto this pillow. Accidentally ironed them on upside down. Couldn't believe it. There was of course no way of removing it without ruining the pillow so I just uh, let it be. I thought at least I can see if I kind of like this look, if I want to keep the turkey, and I think it's staying. I really do like the look. I think it fits to fall. This pillow cover is available on the Etsy shop, and the fabric that I plan to use to make it is drop cloth fabric. It will have a similar color to this one, but a nicer, softer feel to it. I think it'll be really pretty, and I promise the words will not be upside down. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I gotta say, it's such a good feeling to have a new look here on the porch. I'm really loving it. As always, I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next video.